Well, I got one for you guys today. Have you ever tried to scan a vehicle and it won't scan? Wondering why? Well, I have that situation right now, so I'm gonna walk you guys through it. So that's your DLC connector where you would plug your scan tool into. And let me show you what's happening right here. See, no lights. Just pressing the wires. I'm pushing the, the wires into the connector. So what's happening here is these, uh, these wires go through the connector and you can see the pins on the other side or the terminals. Um, what happens is they get spread throughout the years. People, you know, jamming their scan tool into there or just not being delicate with it or it just happens from where, like any other connector. So another thing to look out for, sometimes these wires will, they'll break right, you know, right down in there and you can't really see them. So give them a little tug, like you can see here, I don't know if you can see, but they've all got quite a bit of play. So when that wire goes through this connector, it has little locking tabs and it locks it into place. Sometimes those will get broke and the pin will just get pushed up through the bottom here and it just won't be making contact. Or in this case, the pin is spread so it's not gripping the terminals on my on my DLC connector or my uh, my little dongle here it's this is a Bluetooth one it's the same as every other one that you'll come across OBD2 I mean there's different variations for some specific makes and models but this is just a Bluetooth one so I can plug it in and go in the shop and scan it where it's not 95 degrees or I can be over in the engine bay looking at my scanner but it's the same thing same principle another thing you can look out for is a bad ground say you plug it in and just nothing happens and there's nothing wrong with the terminals there's you know they're not spread they're not loose but it's just not scanning well you want to check your powers and your grounds Those are some common things to look out for or corrosion you'll look up in there and you'll see a bunch of corrosion i mean there shouldn't be it's inside the cab but you never know maybe it was in a flood or somebody spilled something on it i don't know how you can spill something on something under here but crazy stuff happens it may also be a wiring issue going you know further into the harness it's hard to say there's so many different scenarios but those are the things you want to look out for if you plug your scan tool in and it's not scanning. Or um, check your cigarette lighter. A lot of times your, uh, your cigarette lighter shares the same circuit as, as the B+. And it uh, just depends. you got to look at wiring diagrams, but typically the, the cigarette lighter is, is tied into that circuit. So check your fuse block. Uh, there's there's if you look at a wiring diagram, there's probably if you look up DLC and you and you Track it down and you follow the The wires, you know, you want to see where they go to where the ground at where you know, where's the ground at? Where's the power at? And then there's also uh, your, your can communication lines on there. So if, if one of those wires is is bad, you're not going to communicate with you're not going to communicate so just all things to look look out for when you are trying to scan a vehicle and something like this happens like in, in this scenario this that's not why they wanted me to fix you know what they wanted me to look at there they told me another shop told them that it was a valve that and, and apparently they replaced this valve and then a couple months later the car is stalling 
so a valve that that's it's not very descriptive there's a lot of valves but they did tell me that it would stall the, the shop told them that it was a valve that wasn't supposed to be opening unless they were on the highway so I'm thinking EGR valve and uh, I mean that's the top of my head that's the only valve um, that I can think of that would cause a, a, a situation like this they, they said the car kind of stumbles and shakes a little bit you know a stuck a stuck EGR valve will do that as well so I have a feeling we're looking at an EGR related issue but that's not the topic of this video I just wanted to give you a quick rundown what to look for if your scan tool does not communicate and you run into a situation where you need the scan tool you know there's a lot of different ways to diagnose a car but for something like this with a, a description like that like oh it just it, it stalls and they told me it was a valve it's great to have some some other you know information to help you pinpoint the issue it it's uh you know that's just kind of the first step with it with a concern like this because you know what am i supposed to start doing checking every valve on the car no i mean if you run into this situation you've got to fix that dlc and then continue on with your diagnostic so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this one as always uh, don't forget to like subscribe hit that bell and i'll see you next time thanks for watching